congratulations to Kenya, Tanzania, and Congo, Rwanda, Uganda, the Uganda, but Rwanda for coming together to create that new big state that we're hearing is brewing right there. On top of that, have the East African coin. Botswana and Namibia, you are doing well. The borders are here, they are slowing down there. Forget about South Africa, they think they are this and all that. We'll attend to them later. Let Africans who are willing to unite and move forward come together. Big ups to Malema with whatever you're doing out there. Big ups to Gate and Mackenzie, my good friend, for whatever work that you are doing there in terms of building and showing them how it can be done. But yes, this is what you're talking about. Af Africa having its own golden coin. I want to name that coin the Mansa Munsa coin. The Mansa Munsa coin where Africa can begin to do business from Cape to Cairo. Yeah. Mosia Tunya coin. That also speaks to why Gaddafi died for the African coin he was talking about. And we can put our money finally in these coins. Maybe the Reserve Bank soon or later will get for us uh, some credit cards. We put your coins there, get your credit card, run around that city and pay your bills as you want and use that as surety and guarantee to do our trading. And this one will be nice. I'm looking forward to a day when you are coming to Zimbabwe to buy products. You no longer bring us some papers. You must bring gold. You must come back and buy, buy our materials with the gold that your forefathers stole from this land. So it must be returned. And if you don't have the gold, you must give us land in America, give us land in Britain, give us land in Germany and in France in exchange for our products. And I guarantee you if our leaders can wake up and become a bit firm in their transactions, Africa can buy Europe. Africa can buy America with its people and its resources. Nothing stops us. This is business. This is business. And we don't need to be sorry as to the way in which we are doing business. Ultimately, if African leaders can come together, throw away this paper money and all the fakeness that it represents. And Africa can begin to think together as a collective. And immediately we have our coins. The next most important thing is to use our coin and buy military and buy weapons so that we can protect our borders because they will be coming to steal the very gold that they will have paid for. So we build our own economy. We build our own military. Back to back with that. Thumbs up to Pius and my honorable prince that are in uh, Tanzania who are already giving us Kiswahili lessons right here on your page on Farmers of Thought. Just go back and scroll back. I think we're on lesson number seven or lesson number eight. Let's all go back and study a bit of Swahili. Abari yako, abari yanzuri, wenda wenda wapi, zinalanga ni nani. Amen. For business purposes so that we can travel around this continent and talk to each other and do business with each other. For our language and our culture is our economy. And I'm excited to be in Zimbabwe at this time and not become part of the problem, but become part of the solutions. We want to start challenging African leaders in the Sadiq regions, Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, Swaziland, Lesotho, and Mozambique. Come together, not just to take pictures as presidents. On sit around and take pictures. Start talking business. How do we make the Sadiq region active enough? How do we deal with immigration issues in the Sadiq? How do we deal with business and economics in the Sadiq regions? How do we be, improve our imports and exports? In the Sadiq regions and how do we improve our military and protect protecting our own environment in the Sadiq regions this is what we want to see our African leaders doing we don't want to just see you standing around taking pictures who, who, who cares for taking selfies selfies in these conferences and congratulations big thumbs up to Zimbabwe for the honorable regent Charumbira who has been appointed as the president for the for the Africa Union and is it not is it Africa, Africa is it not Africa Union that organization that is in uh, Johannesburg head office the, the and, and yes it is it, one of us who is there and I and I, I'm I'm hoping to see him within the next few days and I want to share my great African vision with him to the preservation of the African culture and restoration of indigenous governance systems within those echelons of power so that we don't just photocopy the foolishness of the West and make it our problems. And lastly, we don't have to complain about the absence of bread in Africa. 
Hey, bantu bansundu. Don't complain when there is no bread in Africa. Ninkaleni nikuhisingwa. When did you start eating bread? Go back to your indigenous foods. So that when there is war in Russia, there is war in Ukraine, there is no bread on the continent. The African children cannot die because there is no bread. Start planting your cassava. Start planting your sweet potatoes. Start planting your own potatoes. Start breeding your own organic chickens, your eggs and etc. Create your own breakfasts, your own cuisines, your own breakfast. To hell with bread. If you want bread, you can make your own cornbread. My grandmother used to take some fresh maize and grate it together and then take the leaves of the maize and put it together right there and then put it in the and then in the, in the cook it and build the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cornbread that we used to be eating. So when there is war in Russia and there's no wheat in the in, in the continent and in the whole world, yeah, people are toy toying on the road. Yeah, we want bread. We want bread. Bread for what, African child? Bread for what? But for diabetes, white bread, constipation, and all the sicknesses that are coming with this diet that we think that it is civilized. Go back to and de decolonize your appetite. Decolonize your appetite as African children. As far as condoms are concerned, we are losing lots of people through through uh, through COVID and other things. Man, just go get tested if you don't have HIV and other. Make children, make children. Let's fill up this continent for every funeral that was here for COVID. Make another three, four, five children. We have enough land, enough resources for the African children. The whole concept of reducing population is not our idea here as Africans. There is enough land from uh, Ranfontein to 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 uh, to Klekstop, to Pochepstrom. Enough land from Whitbank to Mpumalanga, Nelspret. Enough land from Harare to 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 to, to Mrewa. There's enough land for the Africans. So we don't have to worry much about how many children must be. Just make sure before you make your wife pregnant that the land must be pregnant first. Multiply and fill up the face of the earth. And then these are the brains that we need. These are the children that we need who will take over from where we have left off. So we don't have to apologize for children. And if you are scared of making children, you would not be here if your parents had not made you. So we don't have to worry about that. There's enough resources for Africa to feed herself. So yes, I'm excited. I'm in Zimbabwe. It's pumping. It's happening. I'm just hoping that this, I've not confirmed yet, for some of these technologies that I see running around on social media, where some of our boys here have created cars that are using electricity. Some have put up some poster. They've created products. And I'll, I'll go there and see for myself and see if these technologies are real. My idea will be that once these technologies are available, the local government must grab them with two hands, pump money into these young boys and girls who, and young men who are coming up with innovative ideas. And we can begin to create and make our own cars. Yes, our own computers. Yes, like Rwanda, our own cell phones. Yeah, if you are a head of department at a university, and for all these years, you have not produced one single product in your department. You are a shame and a waste of time to the African people. Use your academic platforms. Use your universities as research centers of creating new products, creating new medicines, creating new solutions. Let your students graduate with solutions, patterns in their hands of the stuff that they will have established and created then the African economy can respond to innovation and creation of new products. That's what it is all about, to become an African child in the 21st century. We're not just here to be talking about African culture and traditions, but we can meet even the modern technology with sharp minds looking backwards at the future, taking the technologies of the past and packaging them and challenging the problems of the future. With those few words... May the gods of the land visit you in the night. May you have good dreams. All those who hate you be scorched by the sun. May your tribes increase. And let us share some love. Good news. Africa is on her way back. And I am excited. And of course, my grandmother's heart is almost nearing completion. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. My beautiful, I love. But I'll do a full live session from there one of these days, and I show you exactly what I'm all about. But while you're in town, please build yourself a retirement home. Build yourself a place where you want to die. When we come for your funeral, we don't want to find you in a small little hut that is falling apart. Yeah. Stop buying GTIs and buying expensive cars and you don't have a home which you can call your own. Build yourself a home when you can still afford it. Go back home and establish yourself as an African child. You can't retire in a flat. You'll be too old to walk up to the 16th floor. Get yourself a piece of land. If you don't have it, go back to your father's land. Go back to your grandfather's land. Build something there. You will need it one day as you retire. Put a few cows there, a few goats, a few chickens, and a few sheep there. Get your aunt, cousin, brother who is not working. Put them there to look after it while you are wasting your life in city life. Sooner or later when you quit and town spits you out, you can have a home which you can call your own. Put your solar, put your flushing toilets there, put your fridge, put your TV, and you can be watching the lies of CNN and Fox News while you're in your own space. That's, that's, that's what I wish for myself. And I would wish that every African child can do the same also. With those few words, I thank you. And I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful evening. To the United Kingdoms of Africa. To the United Kingdoms of Africa. We will build this continent. One country at a time. And don't forget, I think I might be going to Germany in a few days. But I'll tell you about the trip as the days are going closer, as we are still waiting for the, for the visas and etc. We are going back to the Berlin conference, and I will declare in the Berlin conference, because the kings and the presidents are afraid of doing it, I'll do it on their behalf. The borders that the white men put on the African continent are no longer relevant. We want our continent as it was, brothers and sisters walking together, playing and dancing in the rain, and enjoying the resources of this grand African village to which you and me are citizens of that village. The weakest link being the educated people who are constipated with colonial knowledge systems, always here to criticize and criticize. Hey, get a life, get a life. Go build yourself a village, build yourself a home. Go and talk to some chickens in your village instead of worrying about what am I doing here? I'm doing my part. Go home and do yourself same thing also. The revolution is on all of us. As we look backwards, we can see the future to where we are going. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful evening. May the gods of the land look after you. Gambia, I'm still waiting for you. Get in touch with me. I want to come to Gambia. Something is calling me to your land there. And Cameroon also. Enjoy yourselves. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful evening. Blessings upon the motherland.